Before we look at how to issue or receive item of our stock data, we want to take care of the Django date field because we want to be able to grab a date and automatically put it in a field when we are updating our stock information. All right, so in this video, I want to take you through how to add or work with Django date fields. First, we will look at how to automatically add a date field to an object when saving it in a database. And then we're going to look at how to grab a time and date as we are updating that stock. Okay, so we want to have a timestamp to an object and specify when this object was originally created. And we're going to take another field and grab the time that we updated this stock or this object and put it in the updated field. We'll also look at how to allow the users to choose the date on their own. All right, so we're going to cover all that in this video. So if you're interested in videos like this, please consider subscribing so that you will not miss our future updates. All right, so I'm going to switch back to our application and look at how it is currently configured. We have a category IT name and a quantity field. So anytime I choose a category, let's say IT equipment, and then we want to add in mouse. And we want to specify the quantity as 10 and hit save. So I'm going to add one extra field just beside the delete. And that field will include when this item was originally added in the database and also another field that specify when this item was updated or when this item was last updated okay so i'm gonna head over to the template and add that column so i'm gonna expand templates and then open a list items so i'm gonna scroll down immediately after delete or before the delete i'm gonna add two extra columns and one of them will be timestamp the other one will be last updated All right, so that was the header. So I'm going to add the data part of it. All right, so this field name is right in the model. So I'm going to check what it was. All right, so if I look through, I didn't see any timestamp. So I'm going to add one field called timestamp. We want to have a timestamp and the timestamp will be when this item was created. Okay. So to do that, we want to grab a time automatically. Anytime somebody clicks on save, like if I head over to the application, if I click on add object, right? So now if I add the category, the item name and the quantity, if I click on save, I want the application to grab the current date and time and save it in a database. And that will be our timestamp. So if I head over here, the timestamp, if you want to get a timestamp, we want to make sure the auto now add that is when you are adding this item or this object in a database if i set it to be false that means your date and time will not be automatically added along with the data okay so i'm going to change this to true so this means as i am adding this item in a database choose the date and time and put it in this timestamp field so the auto now means if i am updating this data do i want to update timestamp information to the current time so with the timestamp i don't want it to change i want it to be the date that it was originally created or originally saved in the database so that means if i am adding it for the first time add the date and time but if i'm updating it don't change the date okay so i'm going to change this to false all right so this is how to set the timestamp i'm going to save it and now for the last updated as I am adding it in the database, I don't want this field to be populated, okay? So I don't want to add anything in this field. So I'm going to leave it blank. So that means auto now add should be false, okay? But when I click on that item and I change something in it and I click save, that is now I'm trying to update this object. So during this time, I want to grab the date and time and save it in this field. So I would know that this item was once updated and this date was the last time it was updated. So with the auto now, I'm going to set it to true and auto now add will be false. So remember auto now add is when you're adding it for the first time and auto now means if you are updating the data. All right. So if I set this to false and set this to true, 
Django will automatically put the, the current date and time in this field. So I'm gonna save this and then do make migration and migrate. Alright, so this is a very common thing that happened with Django, alright? So since we added this field, the timestamp field, and set the auto now add to true, Django knows that this is a required field. So we have an existing data in our application. Alright, so this was the mouse that we just added. So now to pass this stage, it is asking me like the previous data or the data that is existing in your application there was a data that doesn't have the timestamp so now do you want to set the default one as a timestamp for all the data that are currently existing or you want to fix this in the model by adding the default for the data i want to take the current date and time and slot it to all the existing records in the application so i'm going to choose option number one and press enter so now it is asking me to specify the date and time. So I'm going to just choose time zone dot now so that it will grab the current date and time and then slot it in those existing data. Okay. So I'm going to type time zone dot now and press enter. All right. So I'm going to now type manage py migrate. Okay, so I can now refresh the app or I can now go to list of items and then continue on the table. So I'm going to switch over and then go to the list of items. So I added timestamp and last updated. All right, so we were supposed to have timestamp right here and last updated below it. save it and refresh the application all right so i'm gonna add one more data so that we see how this works i'm gonna click add items and then choose phone as the category i'm gonna click save okay so it looks like with the new django this field also will have to be added since it is a required field so it's gonna choose the same date and time for timestamp and also last updated okay so now it is one minute past since when i added this item i'm gonna try to update samsung and then adjust the quantity to 10 and click save so with this one you can see the timestamp remains the same as when it was added in the database but the last updated change to the current date and time right so this how to do the timestamp and the last updated feel so now how about if you want the users to be able to choose their date and time on their own so let's say now they want to do an issue of an item or maybe they want to save data in the application but they want to choose when this happened okay i'm going to add one extra field and name it date So with the date, I want the users to be able to choose their date and time on their own, okay? So for the auto now add, I'm gonna set it to false. And auto now also be false. So if you specify both of them to be false, that will not allow you to specify this field in your forms. Like if I save it and I have to move to forms.py and add the form right here and then save it. So if I refresh on the app or if I click on add items, you can see we have this new field as date so you can now define what date you want to put right in here okay but if i switch over to the other dates or let's say the other fields like with the timestamp if i want to add the timestamp or the last updated field to the form it will break the server okay so it will have an error now if i save this if I paste it here and then save it, you can see our application got an error. Last updated cannot be specified for stock model form as it is a non-editable field. So if we choose to have true on any of these two, whether auto now add or auto now, it's gonna be a non-editable field. Okay. 
So this is how to add date field in Django. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, consider clicking on the like button. If you have not subscribed yet, you might consider subscribing so that you don't miss our future videos. So thanks and see you in the next one.